Bye, bye, little Sebastian. I miss you in the saddest fashion. Oh, jeez. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Your 5,000 candles in the wind. Gosh, dirty. Oh, my goodness, that song. Oh, that song gets me every time. Oh, but I do miss you, little Sebastian, every day. And I know you're in horsey heaven, my friend. That's the thing. Okay, this is silly. I gotta do this for Erin Thompson. It's her birthday, but how do I turn the gosh down? Oh, oh, it's time. Lord Sheldon, come here, buddy. Well, come here, Lord Sheldon. Are you daddy's good boy? Huh? Are you daddy's good boy? I love you very much. You wanna say, happy birthday, Erin? No? Okay, well, we'll do it later, but right now we gotta put the cream on your button. So come here. Lord Sheldon, Lord Sheldon, don't walk away when I'm talking about your butt. Oh, jeez. Oh, Gail, Gail, sweetie, would you help me with Lord Sheldon? He's walking away. Guess why? Yeah, the cream. He doesn't want it. Would you put the cream on his button for me? I know, Gail, he doesn't like it, but we got to do it every hour on the hour. That's what they said, and we love him. I know, we haven't slept in years. I know. Oh, it's okay, though. Yeah, remember when I accidentally put the picture of his anus on Tom's menus? Ooh, that was not a good day at work, Gail. Mm -mm. What? Oh, ooh, yeah, when I burned off Tom or Ron's eyebrows. Yeah, that might have been worse. Yeah. But you know what? I'll tell you this. I could not tell if Ron was mad because it turns out eyebrows are kind of the window of the face. And I, he seemed okay. Oh, you think he was mad? Probably. But it's okay. It's all good. That was a while ago. Anyway, what was that? No, I was about to put the cream on his button, but I'm doing a video for Aaron. Yes, Aaron Thompson. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Can you believe it? Yeah, another birthday. Yeah, 36. I know, still a baby. Yeah, oh, she's one of the young ones. I know, I know. But where does the time go? Yeah. Anyway, so I was t talking to RJ. Oh, my God, does he love her. Just loves her so much. They're like us. They get it. They know what's important. Yeah, he just loves her so much. Anyway, so I'm just going to... I will send happy birthday love from you and the girls. You had it on the calendar, right? Yeah, November 30th. Okay, so I'll do that, and then I'm, but I have to figure out how to turn it on, and then we're going to... Who's upset? I, I'm not a... Oh, earlier. Oh, God bless you, Gail. Oh, you're the best, Gail. Oh, I love you. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Everything's fine, but I was upset because I was trying to do the video for Aaron, couldn't figure it out. And let me tell you something about Erin Thompson. She loves little Sebastian like I do. She does. And so I started, well, thinking about him. And then I sang 5,000 Candles in the Wind. And then I got worked up because I always get worked up. Yeah. Just last week, Andy and April come into the office. Andy's got his guitar. Somehow, we all start singing 5,000 Candles in the Wind. And we're all a mess. Ron and Leslie and Donna and, oh, Tom. It was just a mess. Except for Ben. Yeah, Ben was fine. I don't get it. And I love Ben, but I don't get that. I don't get it, Gail. How does he not understand? <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. Yeah. And I'll tell you, now that, boy, I was going to hold off. But now that Erin is 36, I think she's old enough to know the truth. That I shared the same diabetes medicine as little Sebastian. Same dosage. Yeah. First time ever for a horse and a human. And I'm very proud of that, Gail. I really am, Erin. I shouldn't be. But I am. Hello, Aaron Thompson. How are you, sweetheart? Uh, this is Jim O'Hare being absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think you know me better, though, as the guy who plays Jerry Gergich or Gary or Larry or Terry or even Barry from Parks and Recreation. Yeah, you got good old Jerry. But listen, before I continue with this happy birthday message, I have to clear something up because, well, I have been lying to you. Sorry, Aaron, I didn't mean to, but it did. The truth of the matter is, Gail is not really here right now. And Lord Sheldon and his anus, not really here right now. Now, I know you're, well, probably shocked by this news. And I understand that. You're probably like, wait, that makes no sense. It was so real and grounded and human. And if it wasn't real, then it means that you, Jim O'Hare, are the greatest actor of our lifetime? <laughs> Eric, you are, you're very sweet. You're very kind and you're very correct. Yes, that, that, that's what it means. Yeah, let, 
Let's go with that. Anyway, but seriously, Aaron, uh, I got the scoop from uh, RJ that you're turning on November 30th. It's your 36th birthday, so I want to say happy, happy birthday. Uh, I also hear that your dad passed away last year. Uh, I have been down that road with both of my parents, and uh, it just sucks. I wish I had some magic to make that pain go away, but I can tell you from experience, it gets better for sure, um, but I talk to them both every day, and I think that's okay. And whatever, if I'm wrong, that there's nothing after this, then I'm wrong and I'll never know it, but I believe there is. I truly believe. And so anyway, but I'm so sorry for your loss because especially with everything this, this past year has just been crazy. So I, to add that to it, I can't even imagine. So just know, sending you some love your way. Uh, and also I want to thank you for your parts love. I hear you guys have watched the show 12 times. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm going to tell the, we have this thing called the Parks Family Text. So I'm going to tweet that, text it, whatever the hell you young people, what do we do? We, we text, yeah, I'm going to text to them that you said you watched it 12, 12 times. That's, that's wild. I've heard like four and five. I have not heard 12. So thank you. Uh, we were really lucky. Seven years, 126 episodes, love and laughter every day. I mean, every day. I knew how much I loved it when I realized I didn't like my days off because I was a series regular. So I got paid whether I worked or not. Like that's how that works. But I was like, oh, I don't work tomorrow. Oh, I mean, what job do you, I mean, who, of course you want a day off. I didn't. That's how great it was. It was just a special place. So thank you for, thank you for finding us and loving us. And I'm glad we could bring you some, um, some smiles during some tough times. Uh, I am so honored to be on a show that has that effect for people because there are certain shows in my life that are my go-tos and I don't even need them. I don't need to watch them. I just need to hear them in the background and they bring me, they lower the anxiety. And anyway, I, so I know that feeling and I'm just honored to be on a show that does that for other people. I mean, that, that's like kind of a, like a dream thing. But anyway, so I'm thinking of you. So listen, I'm not going to sing happy birthday. RJ, you can do that, my friend, but I am going to dedicate the Gurgich anthem to your 36th birthday. So to you, Aaron, for me and RJ, I sing eggs, bacon, and toast. Eggs, bacon, and toast. Why don't you start your day the Gergich way with eggs, bacon, and toast. We toast to your 36th birthday on November 30th. Have a great one, Aaron. Bye-bye, sweetie.